Some years ago, my wife and I made our way to New York City on September 11 just to watch and observe. It had to be the closest thing I will ever experience to a medieval pilgrimage. There were grieving widows, there were conspiracy theorists, there were fire-breathing evangelists. And in the midst of it all, my wife and I made our way up to St. Paul's Chapel, which was a, a place of refuge and rest for rescue workers in those days following the attacks. And I found a note from a little girl that said, how could they do this? In this book, Who is My Enemy?, I decided to take that question seriously. What would happen if we tried to identify the sorts of rationalizations and justifications that have been used to commit the mass killing of civilians? Not for the purpose of justifying, and not most certainly for the purpose of excusing the hard acts, but precisely, say, as an exercise in loving our enemies. In other words, as the old ancient prayer puts it, what might it look like if we seek first to understand then to be understood, what might we learn? So I launched out to meet new people and travel to new places. I'd drink a Coke with a lifelong PLO activist in Hebron. I'd have a meal with a Muslim theologian in Jerusalem, and I'd travel to Istanbul to visit with Muslim scholars. Practicing what Miroslav Volf calls double vision taught me interesting things about my Muslim neighbors and interesting things about myself. Not only things about Islam that surprised me, but things that surprised me about Christianity and America too. And I suspect they might surprise you as well.